Pluto is a dwarf planet that can be found in the Kuiper Belt, which as stated by NASA, is a donut shaped ring of icy objects around the Sun, extending just beyond the orbit of Neptune from around 30 to 55 astronomical units. We've only just started to scratch the surface of what space has to offer, and every single year expanding our knowledge of the cosmos. Every so often those scientists and researchers will discover something that needs to be investigated further. One interesting image was captured by NASA's New Horizons probe, and it shows what appears to be a large object moving on Pluto's surface. The New Horizons probe was first launched in 2006 as part of the New Frontiers program, and since being launched it's helped us to better understand Pluto and the objects around it, including objects that can be found in the Kuiper Belt, with scientists detailing that it will help them to understand and collect data on Kuiper Belt objects, and also other worlds like Neptune and Uranus. On July 14th, 2015, NASA's New Horizon probe flew around 7,800 miles, or 12,500 kilometers above the surface of Pluto, which made it the first spacecraft to explore the dwarf planet. Interestingly, once it reached this altitude, it started to photograph something strange on Pluto, which in turn led scientists and researchers to debate what this object was. Astronomer and image analysis Mark D'Antonio said the following in 2016. New Horizons has shown us a Pluto that we've never seen before. Unprecedented images, including this one which actually looks like a snail. You can see what looks like a shell and a head. It's really strange. I have to admit it looks like it's leaving a path. Is it a space snail? Other astronomers said that although Pluto is now listed as a dwarf planet, we still have a lot to learn about this celestial body, noting that it's of particular interest because it's very geologically active beneath the surface. Astronomer David Aguilar said the following, this flat surface on Pluto is host to these strange markings we find on the surface. Many people believe that this is a dead world, but it's not true. Pluto is in fact a geological world. These types of space discoveries have long caused debates online, with some saying that these findings need to be further researched, and that they could be proof of life. Geologically active planets could mean that there's some type of life form that's thriving within this environment, with many saying that just because earthbound creatures couldn't live here, it doesn't mean that other life forms couldn't call this place home. Life comes in all shapes, sizes and resistance, and Earth is a testament to this statement. Creatures such as tardigrades can live in the most hostile environments, with new studies showing that they can even survive in space. It's one of the reasons why when interesting photographs like this one are taken, people will try to be open-minded to the idea that it could be life. One user said the following, Due to how geologically active Pluto is, this is likely a rock being pushed to the surface. But the point is we should investigate these findings further. Perhaps underneath this layer there are complex life forms waiting to be discovered. The fact that we have planets and moons within our solar system that are active in these ways is an incredible discovery, and it's likely there's smaller life forms in these places. It's just we haven't found them yet. The solar system is so tiny compared to the rest of the universe, and for me I think it's just a matter of time before we make a breakthrough in this area. One scientist who observed the photographs believes that they may have an answer for what this object is detailing that nitrogen is being pushed to the surface. They said that although this process can take thousands of years, it leaves large frozen nitrogen icebergs on the surface, which in turn can sometimes take on the appearance like something is moving. Dr. D'Antonio said the following, Think of a lava lamp, with a blob slowly coming up from the bottom of the lamp. This is exactly the same thing that's happening on Pluto. These lines are none other than the edges of convection zones where warm materials come up to the center, 
then cold material cooling dropping down to the edges. The giant snails are probably water ice which is going to be rock hard, forming a large iceberg. American astronomer Seth Shostak said the following, The surface of Pluto is a horrible place for life, an impossible place. Let's put it this way, everything in your body would freeze in a few seconds. You'd have to have a skeleton inside it, otherwise it's just going to collapse in a heap. As of right now, scientists have said there's no other plans as of yet for a follow-up mission. Hubble discovers moon orbiting the dwarf planet Makemake. NASA's Hubble telescope has discovered a small moon orbiting Makemake. Makemake is the second brightest dwarf planet after Pluto, and is one of five dwarf planets internationally recognised. Makemake was discovered in 2005. Its moon has been nicknamed MK2, and is approximately 13,000 miles from Makemake. The discovery of MK2 was made in 2015, using Hubble's field camera. The discovery of a new moon around a planet can lend important information to the dwarf planet system. Through measuring the orbit of the moon, astronomers can calculate mass and learn about its origins. The discovery of MK2 also reaffirms the idea that most dwarf planets have satellites. Scientists also argue that discovering this moon has increased the similarities between Pluto and Makemake. Just as with Pluto, further exploring Makemake's moon will offer new information that will allow us to understand whether the composition of Pluto and Makemake are at all similar. Part of the research scientists want to do into MK2 is into the shape of its orbit. Using the Hubble, scientists hope to learn whether the moon's orbit is elliptical or circular. This will tell scientists how long it takes for the moon to orbit around Makemake. Current predictions are that if the moon has a circular orbit, it will complete an orbit in 12 or more days. Not only does the shape of orbit help to determine length of orbit, but it also provides clues into how the moon came to be. If the orbit is smaller and circular, it suggests that MK2 came from a collision between Makemake and another object. This could have occurred several billion years ago when the universe was still relatively young. However, the discovery of the moon did solve one mystery about Makemake. Previous information about Makemake suggests that most of its surface is cold, but some areas seem to be warmer and darker than others. This stumped scientists, as they could not understand the temperature discrepancy. However, with Hubble's new information on MK2, astronomers suggest that much of the warmer surface previously detected may actually be part of the surface of MK2. This warmer surface is also darker in colour, which may also just be the darker surface of MK2. There are many hypotheses as to why MK2 has such a dark surface, when its dwarf planet is bright and cold. Some scientists believe that because MK2 is so small it cannot gravitationally hold on to a bright icy crust. This suggests that the moon is similar to comets and other objects found in the Kuiper Belt. One thing is certain, every new discovery in space is important because it can transform what we know and continue to learn. These new space discoveries just go to show that what we know is changing rapidly. After the dawning of the space race, humanity continued very little projects into that of space exploration, and instead used the majority of funds for continued space research. Due to this new initiative, it became imperative for space agencies to establish permanent space stations in space to help with continued research projects. This led to the creation of the International Space Station, which can be used by all nations and governments in a joint effort to further research in all areas. Of course, attempting to understand a brave new frontier comes with a variety of strange and mysterious circumstances that researchers are still trying to better understand. 
One of these is the continued reports of strange objects that have been detected by various space cameras attached to the International Space Station. In fact, just recently an interesting object was captured during a spacewalk. Someone was watching the live feed and noticed that something came into view just below the astronauts, saying that it looked quite large and just appeared to hover. This isn't the first time that a strange looking object has approached the International Space Station, and there's some that have said that mysterious objects are interested in the ISS, and that if you're patient enough you can see mysterious lights approach the station as if they're inspecting it. Some online users though said they were surprised that the life feed didn't get cut off, saying that when strange objects sometimes appear close to the International Space Station the life feed camera cuts out, stopping the general public from being able to observe the objects any further. This object in particular though is an interesting one, because although amateur researchers have said that very strange objects can be seen around the ISS in a short amount of time, this is one of those times where the object can actually be seen quite clearly. One person said the following about the object. I'm not sure what this is, but it does look strange. I've seen the video and it suddenly appears in view. I'm not sure if this is something mysterious or just a piece of debris, but it's an interesting capture. End quote. Skeptics have suggested the object in question doesn't have anything to do with mysterious crafts, but is rather a panel that was taken off by the astronauts during the mission. Countless pieces of space debris are flying around our planet at any given time, and although NASA don't like it when astronauts drop things as they can come back to haunt them in the future, it's inevitable that it's going to happen. Although this particular event may be something like a piece of space debris, Amateur researchers are certain that some of these objects that approach the International Space Station don't fit into that category, saying that they've observed large objects that make sudden changes in direction, and that they go against the rest of the objects that can be seen travelling around them. For years now, NASA's stance on these objects has stayed the same, but in some cases they refuse to comment on some of the footage that their ISS cameras managed to capture. For those that are unaware, the International Space Station has a variety of cameras to monitor spacewalks and other areas that need to be under 24-hour surveillance. It's during the surveillance though that eagle-eyed viewers have managed to spot strange things in the background, saying that these objects defy everything around them, and appear to have the ability to travel at tens of thousands of miles per hour. It's important to note that NASA officials have said they've never captured anything of interest close to the International Space Station, and that all of these reports can be easily explained as things like space debris and camera anomalies. Interestingly though, it seems that this attitude at NASA may be changing. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has said that he wants the company to be more open about this topic, and has said that NASA is being briefed about the topic of mysterious aircrafts. He said the following in regards to the increased reports of these mysterious flying aircrafts. Now that I'm here at NASA, I've turned to our scientists and I've said, would you, looking at it from a scientific standpoint, see if you can determine what these objects are, so that we can have a better idea. The bottom line is we want to know, and that's what we're trying to do. These comments have led some to think that NASA may be changing their attitude towards these sightings, and that they may be looking into these International Space Station anomalies with a more open mind. However, some were quickly disappointed when the Space Agency posted an update on their website. Interestingly, in July of 2021, NASA updated their websites and posted about the unidentified aerial phenomena. They said the following, one of NASA's key goals is the search for life in the universe. To date, NASA has yet to find any credible evidence of extraterrestrial life. However, NASA has long been exploring the solar system and beyond. To help us answer fundamental questions, including whether we're alone in the universe, the agency's astrobiology program focuses on the origins, evolution and distribution of life beyond Earth 
from studying water on Mars, probing promising ocean worlds such as Titan and Europa, to looking for biosignatures in the atmospheres of our cosmic neighbourhood. End quote. As of right now, NASA continues to deny these photographs, saying that although they look interesting, they don't show anything that points towards them being under intelligent control, and says that the general public should listen to what they say, further noting that they've never found anything of interest in any of their NASA recordings. One NASA worker said the following about these images. All of these can easily be explained as space fluff or camera anomalies, there's no need to research them any further. End quote. So what do you make of these types of events? And do you think that the International Space Station has ever captured anything of interest? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.